Uh, well, Tuesday, everybody that was um, associated with us, the nurse, neurologist, um, everybody within that team was just waiting to see what she's going to have another seizure. What up, GF Nation? What up, GF Nation? What up, GF Nation? It's your boy, Knowledge the Great. And this your girl, Slim Head the Greatest. And we're coming at you today with another, another heavy, heavy hitter. hitter. Another heavy hitter. Um, today's video is going to be a little different video, man. Um, we're going to talk about the reason why we haven't been uploading so often. And um, it's due to our daughter having um, seizures. She been having um how many? She had eight. Within what time span? Since May of the fifth. So it was eight total. Yeah, eight total. Thank you. Yeah, she been having um seizures since May fifth. So I'm gonna start from the beginning. Um, I really didn't want to talk about it on camera, but my wife insisted that we need to be um really upfront and transparent as possible with our supporters. So. That's what we decided to do. So uh, here it goes. So our daughter, you know her name, Willow. Um, she first had her first seizure on May 5th. And um, once she had the seizure, you know, we called the paramedic. Cause that's the first time it ever happened. And we was like really panicking. We didn't know like what to do. But uh, we ended up calling 911. Cause we didn't know it was a seizure at first. We just thought she was choking on something or we didn't know what was going on. So in the midst of it, we called 911 and they told us what was going on and they told us what to do. They coached us uh, on what to do and we did it. So we ended up taking her to the hospital and they said it was something that caused the seizure. I, we forget the name of it, but they said she wasn't eating enough meals. And we was thinking to ourselves like, we feed her, you know, when, when everybody else eats. So we thought we was doing what we're supposed to do. So they, she wouldn't get enough meals. Like, yeah, she would get enough. So she had to don't skip meals. That's basically what it was saying. Don't skip meals. She need to eat three times a day. But that's what we was doing, right? So we think to ourselves, that's what we've been doing. We've been feeding her. So we, so we started feeding her more. All right. So. A few months passed, like three months passed, everything was all good. We was going back to living our normal life. So, August 31st, she ended up having another seizure. And we was like, what's going on now? So, we said, uh, what's... So, the second time, you know, it happened, I didn't panic. You know, I was calm, but my wife here, you know, she was like, she see her baby girl doing it. She was just, you know, crying and I said, baby, just calm down, relax. Let's do what the lady told us to do. And um, cause we was prepared this time. But you know, no matter what, it's still gonna have you feeling some type of way. So we end up calling 911 again and we end up taking her to the hospital again. So this time they said she had a UTI, right? A UTI. A UTI. So uh, did they say like where it, where, where it came from? They just said a UTI. They yeah. said you could be, you can wipe her properly. It, it's just going to happen because she's a, a lady. She's a lady. Baby girl. Well, baby girl, but yeah. you know. Yeah, because we, we make sure we wipe her properly once we change her diaper. She bathes every day. So we thought we was doing everything possible. So the first time it was due to her not eating enough meals. So low blood sugar. Low blood, blood sugar. And um, the second time it was a UTI. So... Um, did they give her treatment for it in the hospital? No, they didn't give her nothing because they said it was a UTI. So they just basically prescribed her something. She had to take it for 10 days. Mm -hmm. And after that, everything was good. So that was the reason they said she caught the UTI. Was, I mean, she caught the seizure was from the UTI. Okay. So. Yep. So, you know, brought her home. We gave her the medication for 10 days. And then everything was back to normal again. Fast forward, what what the uh, next day? October 17th. October 17th, she had another seizure. And this time, you know, it happened at home again. We ended up taking her to the hospital. Wait, and it happened in the car first. Then it happened at home. 
Oh, she yeah. was in the car first on the 17th, that Saturday. Yes, yes. Okay, it was on the Saturday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, my bad. It happened. Uh, we was out running errands, taking care of some business. I was in the store, and then my wife ended up calling me and said, Willow's having another seizure. So, you know, I ran outside. And uh, we did the necessary steps to, you know, calm her down so she can come back from the seizure. We ended up calling 911, and uh, they everything was good. They said her sugar was a little high. Yeah, 172. Yeah, it was a little high, but they said that's not bad. So we were like, man, what are we doing wrong? We like, cause we stay in Montgomery, right? And we don't have like a children's hospital down here, so they really can't pinpoint everything, like you know, when it comes to dealing with kids. So. We ended up taking her to the hospital um, on our own. And um, we got, you got there and um, I think, cause can't nobody but one person be in there with the baby. So, you know, due to everything that's going on right now. So uh, my wife was in there and I was uh, still with the other kids. And what, like fast forward, like the same day she had another seizure, right? She had another one three hours later in the hospital. She had another seizure three hours later in the hospital. And we were like, dang, what's going on? So her doctor called mm -hmm. and was like, what's going on? She wanted to know the details. So I told her she had another seizure from um, that same day. Her doctor wanted us to be admitted in the children's hospital in Birmingham, which is like an hour away. Mm -hmm. She wanted us to be admitted that same day. So she already talked to the children's hospital um, neurologist and scheduled for us to come get admitted. So the hospital we was at, they didn't want to really admit us or want us to go because I don't know, but they end up sending us home again. The same day they sent us home again. With some Capra that they gave her. They didn't give us a prescription that day, did it? Did they give us? Yes, they did. They yeah. did. They gave us a prescription that day. Um, we didn't get a chance to fill it because the CVS, um, the Walgreens was closed. Yeah. So fast we forward. End, we, we end up uh, filling it the next day. Mm -hmm. But fast forward, we at home. The um, next day. Yo, what what I said? Fast forward. Fast forward the next day, right? Oh, okay. I don't know if I said it or not, but, you know, come Sunday, which is October 18th, right? Mm -hmm. October 18th, fast forward this Sunday, um, we got up, ate breakfast, uh, showered, did everything we were supposed to do, about to head out and go handle some up. I left another part out. Go ahead. So they said this time, on, from Saturday, she had a slightly UTI. Yeah, a slight we UTI. Get, yeah, we don't get down to the UTI part, but they said she had a slight UTI. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we about to, uh, you know, handle some some more business on um, Sunday. But I was actually helping her sister move some more things out of her house, and then I ended up coming back home, and we was about to go do, you know, handle some business. And then next thing you know, our baby caught another seizure. She had another seizure. And, you know, did the same steps, you know, put her down on the side and, uh, you know, calm her down till she came back in two. So we ended up calling 911 again, and we ended up having her go to Baptist East again. And, you know, I was here with the kids because, you know, only one person could be in there at a time. So it was her and my daughter and... Oh, um, well, they took you to the hospital, right? Yeah. The, amb the ambulance took her to the hospital. She got there. Um, she was napping. After the seizure? Yeah. Yeah, she went straight to sleep. She, you know, she always go to sleep because, you know, that drains the body. So she was uh, asleep for a while, right? And then yeah. what time, like, when did she wake up? She woke up probably, like, she was asleep for about an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, she was kind of in and out sleep and then wake back up, then go back to sleep. Um, because, you know, they gave her some old Capra. Um, so her doctor called again. It was like, what's going on? Y'all didn't go to Birmingham? I was like, you know. They went and met us. So she was like, I talked to Birmingham yesterday and they were expecting you guys. And I told um, the hospital where you at to go ahead and send you over there. They didn't do that. I'm confused. She was confused herself because she told them to send us there because she had two seizures the day before. Um, fast forward that same day. Sunday, she had another seizure. Yep, that same day. So she had two seizures back to back in um, two different days. Two different days. So the doctor talked back to the nurse that was on call for us 
um, and told her what was going on. We need to go to Birmingham. We need to figure out what's going on. So after that, the nurse came back in and said, uh, well, your, your, your pediatrician wants you to go to Birmingham. Just because you're having seizures, they're not gonna admit you. So, okay, fast forward. We went there in an ambulance to Birmingham. Yep. Um, we got admitted due to her having another seizure yeah, in the hospital. No, once we, okay, the the nurse they end up sending sending you to Birmingham, right? Yeah. She rode on the ambulance with our daughter to the Birmingham. Um, I trailed her in the car. Um, the kids stayed home. They stayed here with their grandparents, and um, she got to the hospital. They arrived to the hospital around what five thirty about six, six. By, about about around six, and uh, she had another seizure while they was in the um, room, right? Mm -hmm. So that's when they went ahead and admitted her right then. But the, the nurse down here did not want to send us to Birmingham. So we ended up getting admitted because, like, these seizures was coming back to back. We was like, we were so confused. Like, what's going on? Like, she first had it, then she had a three-month gap. And then once she had that, you know, in October, well, August, and then she had, you know, everything was good and had it again in October. And it just came back to back to back. We were like, man, we are so confused. What is going on? So that's when she got admitted into the Children's Hospital in Birmingham. And then, you know, the um, the next day, you know, they and do. the crazy thing is they were happening at the same time. It was happening at the same time. Like it started, like the first seizure she had was like at 11. I was around 11. Then the second one was, uh, happened around 6. And it happened again the um that Monday. She had one at 11. She had one at six, but she, uh, what's the things that they put on her head? The white, e huh? EGG. Yeah, EGG. They put that on her head and everything that, you know, getting the monitoring or whatever. And, um, you know, we went to sleep that night and everything was good. Did they give us some, uh, Kepler? Well, they gave a Kepler too, but the dosage, the dosage wasn't, um, high enough, right? Yeah. So that's why she was, you know, she had them seizures again. So, okay. Um, that Monday, she had one at 11. Uh, well, she woke up, right? She woke up, she ate, and they came in and gave her some um, Keppra, but they gave it to her by mouth. And then, like, I say, like, 10 minutes later, she ended up throwing it up, you know? And um, by her doing that, it did not get in her system good enough, and she ended up, you know, throwing it up, and then she ended up having another seizure, like, at 11. And, um, you know, by us being in the hospital, they reacted quick. And then the the uh, what's the EGG. the EGG thing, the wires that was on her head. Once she, if she did have a seizure, um, one of us was to press the red button so they can track where it was going to happen, and um, they was able to. So they ended up putting her in the um, ICU, and you know we was real sad, man. It was like, man, it, it hurt us real bad to see our baby going through this. Like we were so new to this, like. We never experienced anything like this, you know. You know, this is our only child that we experienced that with. So um, she was uh, still having the seizures. Um, come Tuesday, you know, that was an ICU Monday. Then uh, that Monday, I'm sorry, I'm I'm all over the place. But again, at six o'clock Monday, she ended up having another seizure. We're like, man, she getting this medicine? What is going on? Y'all say this prevent the seizures, but um, for us having a lack of knowledge uh, about the medicine, the dosage still wasn't high enough. So every time she had one, like they'll move the dosage up. Um, like Kepper is like the first step medicine to like to keep the seizures from happening, right? Because there's other medicines that they give for seizures, but Kepper is like the first medicine that they give you. And um, because they don't, um, the medicine don't interfere with like your organs. It don't damage none of your organs. Or if you have to take any other medication, um, it don't interfere with the other medication. So that's why they always start with Kepler. So, um, you know, she was up all night that night. Was it, she was up all night Monday or Tuesday? That was Monday. Yeah, she was crying all night. She had all these, you know, IVs in her and, you know, the wires on the head. She couldn't move like she wanted to. She was just real cranky and irritable. And it was like a hurtful feeling to see our baby girl go through that, you know? So, you know, we tried to do everything we can do to calm her down. Um, my wife stayed up with her, you know. Um, she didn't go to sleep till about four, five o'clock that yeah. morning. Because, like, like I was telling my wife, like, I get her, but I don't want her to be crying 
even more because she only wants you. You know, she's that like my baby. She loves daddy, but she's a mama girl. She loves mama. She loves mama. Like she loves being with me, but she loves mama. Um, but yeah. So we know that Monday was getting through it, and we was talking to like the neurologist. They was coming in and telling us the different things about seizures and you know different things. Um, so come Tuesday, right? Um, what happened Tuesday? Uh, well, Tuesday, everybody that was um, associated with us, the nurse, neurologist, um, everybody within that team was just waiting to see what she's going to have another seizure. Um, so she finally passed the first stage, which was the 11 o'clock phase. Mm -hmm. She didn't have a seizure that time, so kudos. After that, everything was good. She started eating. She started getting back to herself normally, but not so much. Um, she had to get ready for an MRI mm -hmm. um, so they can take a look at her brain. Mm -hmm. um, they actually gave her anesthesia to put her to sleep because she wasn't going to sit there and let them just... Yeah, you know, little kids not going to sit there, especially a one-year-old, not going to sit there and let them just scan. So they end up putting, you know, giving her anesthesia. They scan her brain. She came back to the room. She was still cranky. She was still irritable. And um, and she was exhausted, too, because she was like, because the night before, she didn't get no sleep. So she slept most of the night. And to come Wednesday, when we came, when, what? we got discharged Wednesday. We got discharged Wednesday? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Okay, so. On the 21st. So we, we, we got another room that same day, right? They yeah. put it back in special care unit. Uh -huh. Yeah, so they, what they, what you call it? Demote? They demoted yeah. us because she wasn't like that serious because she didn't have no more seizures. Yeah. Yeah. So they demoted us back to the special care unit and um, she woke up, she ate, uh, she had her apple juice and she was doing good. She wasn't, um, you know, we were still kind of skeptical because we got to the special care unit um, right before, no, like around 6.30, 6.45, and she didn't have any more seizures. And um, we was, you know, still on edge. She was trying to make sure because that's what we was getting, like, back to back all these, you know, since Saturday. And um, so we got to the special care unit. She ate. Everything was good. Um, so they started giving her the Keppra in, uh, by IV. They started that Monday, right? Uh-huh. So they upped the dosage to 2.5 milligrams or milliliters or whatever. And um, it, it started to work because she didn't have a seizure that morning at 11. She didn't have one that afternoon or the evening at 6. So, you know, we felt kind of good. And we had so many people praying for her. Um, my, my my family, her family, the, uh, all the prayer warriors, and um, everybody had them. Uh, had her in their prayers and um, we did too. We prayed extra hard and you know, our baby pulled through. So come the next day, um, we were still on edge the Wednesday because they said she didn't have a seizure, you know, within, you know, a certain amount of time. Hours. Yeah, they was going, yeah, 24 hours, they were going to release her. So the next day, you know, we uh, woke up, she ate. You know, ate breakfast. She spit the oatmeal. <laughs> she out. sure did. She did not like the oatmeal because if it ain't mama oatmeal, she ain't gonna eat it. She spit that out. You know that hospital food don't be all that good. So we gave her like fruits and stuff like that, and um, she ate that. What well, she ate the uh, what else she ate? That's crazy when a baby know that hospital food is nasty. I mean, <laughs> your tongue gonna let you know. And she soon she put it in her mouth. She did it. I said, "Yep, I baby." Did, baby. She did it. Yeah, she didn't even like she didn't even close her mouth. Soon it touched the tongue, it was over with. So yeah, um, but we did give her like oranges and what what she ate? What else? What um, else? she ate oranges and she had a lot of um she had a lot of apple juice. Apple juice, but it was um, something crackers, else she did. Yeah. Cookies. Yeah. And a popsicle. Yeah, yeah. She told that popsicle go. But yeah, so she started to come around build on herself. So we ended up the you know, the team came back in, the neurologists and the, the doctors and they were telling us that we're gonna have to get this prescription and and such and such. So, you know, we still was on edge because if eleven o'clock was coming around, we're like, okay, you know, if, you know, we got we had faith, but you know, you still gonna be on edge because of what was going on, what was happening back to back each day, and so you know, we still had faith in God and 
you know, our prayers. We knew our prayers were going to be answered, but no matter what, you still going to be on edge. You still want to be on point. But we ended up getting discharged, and, um, you know, we had to go pick up this uh, prescription. So we they gave us some more uh, Kepra that same day by mouth this time so they can make sure it worked. So she ended up getting, up by, uh, getting it by mouth earlier that day, and um, everything was good. So we came, we all... Uh, you know, end up coming back home and we filled her prescription and we got that. So now our baby has to take Kepra by mouth twice a day and we give it to her at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. She had to take it and um, that to keep her from having the seizures. But we we uh, we skipped something. Once she did get the MRI, the, uh, what's his name? I forget his name. The doctor came back. Yeah, the doctor came back and showed us like what was going on with the MRI and um the EEG, right? Yeah, e EEG, yeah. The EEG, it showed that where the seizure was coming from, they said it was coming from the left side of the brain in the back, right? Yeah. In the back. And once they showed us the MRI, he was he showed us that her her brain is slightly smaller than usual. So that's you know, could be a problem. You know what I'm saying? Because that's probably uh, like why she was walking on her tiptoes or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, but he was... We go back for a follow-up November 11th, but, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, we could have recorded like why she was in there, but we were so focused on praying and making sure she was good. I didn't want to put her on camera like that. Like when she first did like have the seizures down here, my wife did record some footage. We might throw that in here, or we might make that a separate video. Um, we still unsure about that, but I just, I we really wasn't um, focused on recording that whatsoever because I just wanted to make sure she was good and get back to the happy baby that we both know. Cause this house is nothing without Willow. Like Willow is the life of this house. You know, she brings out happiness and joy in everybody in this house, even the small baby. And um, she even got him acting like her now, so. Like Willow is the energy of this house, but um, yeah, that's that's uh, the reason why we haven't been uploading because we was just trying to be focused on her and be um, keep our attention on her, you know, yeah. just watch her closely. Yeah, we just want to watch her closely, stay prayed up. Um, she's actually sleeping right now, and um, yeah, we just but we about to, you know, we still on edge with it though. Well, we not on edge, but we still we just want to make sure we more. Um, focus on her and just pay closer attention. Like, we always pay close attention to our kids, but we just want to make sure we just, you know, don't miss no steps. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we, we, we gonna... We well, gonna, from the way how she, you know, how she gives up that scared. I know, I'm just saying like, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, we on edge, but we still got faith at the end yeah. of the day. And uh, so we just want to say we thank God um, in Jesus' name, our Lord and Savior, we thank all the prayer warriors that uh, kept Willow and still keeping Willow in her in their prayers. And we hope that y'all pray for our baby too. Keep our entire family in your prayers. And um, yeah, that's where we've been at, man. But uh, she's doing real good. She's a happy baby. She's back to the old Willow. We're gonna make sure we stay. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, tell them the side effects of um. How to keep her, um, keep her. I mean, it, well, she, 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 she's back to normal now, though. Yeah. But in the hospital, like, she was slapping the nurse. <laughs> she tried to bite a nurse. Like, she kept snatching um, Von glasses off and stuff like that. And, like, when I played with her, she just catch me with a Mike Tyson <laughs> right very quick. I'm like, is this what it is? Is this Kepper or Mike Tyson medicine? Like, yeah, but, you know, we don't mind it, though. We just happy that... We just pray that she don't have to, you know, go through that. And uh, we pray for anybody that have to deal with uh, their kids having seizures and stuff like that. Because it's a real serious serious and scary thing to see see your child go through that. You don't want to see your loved one go through that. But, you know. And it's nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. But just sit there and watch. Yeah. I mean, not just watch, but you know, I you mean, can calm them. You know. You, yeah, but you can calm them. It's but nothing, it's nothing you, can, you really, can really do. Yeah. But, you know, prayfully. It won't happen, you know. This medicine can keep it contained because she don't have epilepsy, right? They say it's it's 
Is that what it is? Uh, he said the word, but he didn't say she had. He kept telling us to go on the website to find more information about it. Yeah, 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 the website. But, you know, but you, but God's going to deliver her from this period. So that's why we're going to make sure we keep our faith strong. And um, it was just our faith being tested as well because, you know, we was taking this new journey in life, getting closer to God anyway. And um, I just felt like this was like a test of our faith. And, um, you know, I, we, we kind of like was losing faith a little bit at first, but we had to, you know, hit ourselves across the head and get back right. And um, we are, we, 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 we good, man. So we just want to say that's what we've been in and we are, you know, we're going to get back to the regular schedule program. We're going to keep y'all updated. We're going to start recording more and showing y'all our family more. And um, yeah, our baby girl is doing good. She's doing wonderful. All of our kids are wonderful. I'm doing fine. My wife is doing fine. And um, she was supposed to do a video of her big chop. Y'all see she got her hair cut off. She told me she was planning on doing the video, but you know, we was just, you know. I everything. still can make a video about it and talk about my experience. <laughs> it's a haircut. The experience though, yeah. you know, it's a. <laughs> what, 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 so what's the experience? Hold on to the next video. What's the experience? <laughs> How it felt, how it was, just getting my head chopped off. So you went not understand. Getting your head chopped off. Getting my head chopped off. So you, you, <laughs> chopped off, so you won't understand because you're a man. What well, they got to do? You I get ready. my hair cut all the time. I know, but you grew up. Well, I, listen. I had my, I had a fro and I cut my hair. I did a big chop. But this is my first time and like I'm used to hair on my head. You see? Mm -hmm. So it's an experience for me. Yes. I guess. <laughs> but yeah, uh, great fam nation. That's what we've been at. Um, but we're back. We're gonna keep y'all updated. We just ask y'all to keep our family and y'all in, in y'all prayers. And um, you got anything else you wanna say to the people? No, I don't. Just keep y'all faith and keep God first because he will deliver. Yeah, for sure. And don't just call on God when you're going through something. Pray to him all the time. You know what I'm saying? In Jesus' name, pray to him all the time because we didn't just start praying to him because of what our baby was going um, through. We was doing that beforehand and you know, and that's how, you know, just, just call on God. Don't just, you know, pray to him when you want something. Just pray to him and thank him. Thank him for life, for living, you know, for breathing, for being you. So, yeah, that's where we at, ready, man. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, man, I need y'all to go ahead and hit that like button. And if you are new to the channel, man, hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notification so you won't miss out on the heavy hitter. With that being said, I'm my knowledge the great. I'm Slim K the greatest. Until next time, we out.